you want to ride a chocobo? Well, let me ride one. Right, now we want to speak again. What can I do for you? Let me train one. Uh, dodge a chocobo. Watch out for the incoming balls. Your chocobo will be stunned if he's hit, so do your best to avoid them. Okay, as ready as ever. I hate these challenges. Right, how do we do? 15 8? What were we going for? 16 8. Oh! Haha, <laughs> we did it first time! Level 1 key sphere. Oh, yes. Right, let's do something else, and then we want to do Hyper Dodger Chocobo. Ah, uh, this one's a pain. <laughs> as ready as ever. Ah, it's the birds. It's always the bloody birds. And, yeah, the balls split into four, don't they? No, I don't think we're going to do this in the target time. No, definitely not. This is going to be a few turns, I think. Gitty birds! Alright. Five. Hey! Wow, that's actually a really good time! Completed all the training exercises, but there's one last favour I want to ask. Race me. Challenge me any time, I love a good race. Here's your prize. Whenever you tie a break a record, you'll get a prize like this. Right, let's do something else. Now, here comes the important bit. I'm going to do the captured chocobo. Now, we have to do this again later on in order to get um, a key item. Um, but what we have to do later on, we have to come up with a finishing time that's less than zero seconds. And you'll be able to see how we do that. It's basically, for every bird we hit, it adds three seconds onto our finish time. For every balloon we collect, it takes three seconds off. So the idea is I have to collect enough balloons and hit no birds in order to end up with a time of less than zero seconds um, when, when the totals have been tallied up. But all I'm actually going to do this first time around um, is I'm trying to get I'm going to get uh, Onion's Celestial Weapon, and in order in how, how I need to do that is I only have to beat the trainer once. Um, I don't have to get a time of less than zero seconds just to get the weapon, I just have to beat the trainer, so that's what I'm going to try and do. Yep, the finish line is over there, yep. If you get there before I do, you win, but that's not all. Each balloon you pick up shows three seconds off your final time. Each bird hit adds three seconds. Right, so, yep, I get that. Okay, as ready as ever. Right. So all we want to do is end up with a total time that's better than the uh, than the chokeable trainer. And ah, he's, you balloon stealer! It's 
so we just have to make sure that we don't get hit with any birds. Right, let's see how we did. Nine balloons. 7.9 seconds, oh yeah. See, two more balloons, uh, sorry, three, three more balloons and we would have actually had the key item. Uh, right, so we have to go, well, I quit. Oh, and a trophy. So what happens now is he's come up and said, hey, I saw it, I saw the race, you were amazing, I can't believe you won, but you were lucky, I mean, sometimes she's hot and sometimes she's not. Um, so he comes up to watch the race when you win, and what we want to do is go down here where he was guarding. Oh, a bloody Marlborough. Right, so we know how to deal with this. Provoke. And then I immediately want to bring Yuna in. Uh, what do I want? Protect, isn't it? And then I want to bring Auron in for power break. And then armor break, I think, as well. Yeah, so 273, I mean, that's nothing, is it? Right, let's bring Riku back. Nice. Actually, we might as well give everyone a go, really. I don't see why not. If there's, uh... no, we don't really need armor break, to be fair. Right, uh, Kimari. Oh, we, we already gave him the uh, skills that he could learn. Let's give Lulu a go. Now the trick is, once provoked, don't take Onion off the field, or the Provoke will wear off and he will immediately use uh, Bad Breath, which is what we don't want. Right, let's bring uh, everyone's had a turn now, isn't it? Yes. See if she can mug some more stuff. Didn't steal anything. Capture this guy though. Yes. Anyway, yeah, so that guy was guarding this here, which the celestial mirror seems to react. Use the celestial mirror. go. Calad Dog, I think it's called. Calad Bog, that's it. Um, we've got our first celestial weapon and 
That's the only way you can, that's how you get it, is you have to win a race against the trainer. Ah, no. This is why we want the Celestial Weapons, because they're basically um, a get-out-of-jail-free card for whichever character's got it, so provided we don't need to capture, and I think we've got eight of these now, so we don't need to capture, all we have to do is, because what the Celestial Weapons do is they ignore armor. They, they ignore the defense status of any enemy, basically. So even though it's we haven't powered it up and it's got the no AP status, um, it's basically, well, depending on our strength stat, a one-hit kill. So let's see. Oh! Ah, well, they must have changed that for the HD. I'll have to look into that. Um, 